What's up YouTube, RC Cards 88 here. Hopefully everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today is going to be another um, PSA submission video. So um, I'm going to be submitting um, some cards again to Clay Cards. Um, I haven't gotten back my first round yet. I only sent that in about a month ago, but um, I've got more stuff that I want to send in just because the basketball card market is absolutely crazy right now and I'd like to see if uh, some of these cards will will grade well. Um, and he seems to be um, one of the best in the business so um, I have no problem giving him my business again and I can tell you at least from my first interaction with him on my first submission he was very honest with me. He let me know which cards he wouldn't grade personally. Um, so not everything I sent in is actually going to be graded, which is fine, and I truly appreciate that he's trying to save me some money. So um, that being said, um, you know, I'm, I'm putting together what I thought were uh, good cards, uh, as well as I tried to look a little bit at centering, I tried to look at surface area, any blemishes, I tried to look at the corners, I tried to look at edges. Um, obviously, I'm not um, a professional grader by any sense of the means, and he has way more experience, so I definitely rely on on his opinion. But anyways, we'll just kind of quickly go through the list of, of what I got. But you'll basically see that it's a theme of, of uh, basketball guys. So I've got a, a Zion uh, rated rookie from Donruss, um, you know, a little bit on the lower end, but still uh, PSA 10 um, would be really nice of that. Um, a Donruss, the rookies of Zion. So basically what I'm doing is any card of Zion that looked relatively good or potentially borderline, I kind of wanted to put that together and send that in just because his stuff has just been absolutely skyrocketing um, recently. Uh, two Zion uh, optic cards. Um, these I have pulled from uh, myself, either from a, a blaster and a mega, I think is what it was. Um, it was that uh, the crazy run of Zion, Jaw, and Tyler Hero. Um, and then my uh, final Zion card that I'm going to send in is the Revolution Groove card that I hit um, from my Revolution Hobby Box, uh, one of the two that I, Hobby Boxes that I had bought. So um, those will be the Zion cards that I'm sending in. I do have some others that I'm iffy on, and I'm kind of waiting to see what they look like coming back of of um, similar cards, like I have the Fanatic Zion Silver Wave. I want to see what those grade at first before I send that in, um, just because they are slightly off-centered. Um, I don't know if that's enough to make it not be at all having a chance of a 10, or maybe it's better suited to do a BGS um, submission. So I kind of want to see what, what people are getting on BGS first for centering, and then um, I'll make a decision. And then here's some John ja Morants that I have. So I've got uh, two Optic uh, John ja Morants. Um, so on these, my my only fear, I think they're fairly well centered, but they might be slightly off, to be honest with you. When you look at the backs, you can tell that they're off slightly. Um, this one's better than this one. But um, I'm hopeful that they both have a chance to grade well for 10. It's really hard to tell with Optic. Um, uh, it's it's just really hard with optic and PSA, and I feel like it really depends upon the grader because I've seen some that are tens or uh, BGS centering nine fives, and they look more off centered than some of the ones that are actually just a PSA nine or a BGS nine or or even an eight five. So really hard to tell. So I'm really interested to hear what his opinion is on some of these. Um, also, I'm I'm throwing in a John Morant uh, select concourse card. Um, Really nice card that I hit out of my own personal box. Also, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but obviously I'm going to put hopefully this video of uh, Select Hobby up before I put this um, video up. Um, but I probably would have had submitted this um, probably a week or so, maybe even longer, um, depending upon when the video actually goes up. Um, this Prism Silver of Jaw is absolutely beautiful. The only problem with it is, is as you can see, it is definitely slightly off-centered. So again, this is what I was talking about when studying on eBay. Um, you know, I've seen this grade, what seems like very similarly, a centering of a 9.5, sometimes a 9 from BGS. For PSA, I have seen 10s that do look like this. So if all of the other card is perfect, which, you know, I'm not entirely sure if that's true or not, I definitely want them to have a, a long look at this card. 
because um, this would be a really big card if it comes back a 10. And I feel like I got a better chance at PSA for a 10 than I do at a BGS um, 9.5, but we'll see. I'm really looking forward to hearing back on that card. And then we have a uh, John ja Morant uh, Donruss uh, rated rookie. Um, and, and you may be wondering why I'm even doing the low end. And the reason being is even the low end stuff for, for these guys is kind of, um, you know, or, or the way to better look at it as if you look at um, a Luka, I think a Luka Donruss right now uh, rated rookie is going for, you know, several hundred dollars. So, you know, there's definitely room in some of these to keep growing. I think even a Zion is like two or three hundred. I want to say a Luka is about three hundred or something maybe 200, 250, somewhere in there. Sorry, the ranges are a little bit off. I did look at it recently, but um, I kind of forgot. I don't want to give completely erroneous numbers, but I, I do want to say it's somewhere between two and 300, even just for a Donruss PSA 10. So you can kind of use that as a gauge to say, if Ja Morant and Zion, not to say that they're already at the Luka status, but if their popularity, not even necessarily skill set, but just the popularity of their cards continues to grow, um, you know, some of their stuff's already outpacing what a Luca Ruka, uh, Luca rookie is, which is, which is crazy. But, um, anyways, I've got two Luca, uh, rated rookies from Donruss that I'm going to submit. Um, I've got a Trey Young, uh, select just a concourse base. This one I felt was pretty strong, um, in terms of centering in comparison to, I had three, uh, Luca select, uh, concourses. I sent one in last time, the one I thought was best, and he mentioned to me that he thought it would potentially be a 50-50 shot at a PSA 9. It could be an 8, so I didn't go through with that one, and when I rechecked my other two that I had that I didn't send in, it looked like the centering was definitely more left to right. This is, you know, fairly close. It, it, it might be a shade more to the right, but, um, you know, I'll have him take a look over and see what he thinks of it. Um, this Optic Hyper. So I actually picked this card up for like $4 on Instagram uh, a, a long time ago, like when I first started collecting. So that's definitely one of my best purchases so far to date. Um, if this grades well, that would be pretty sweet because um, that card could be uh, pretty big money and nice profit for, off of a $4 purchase. And and it does seem to be pretty well centered, so I'm I'm fairly excited for that card. Have high hopes for that one. Um, I've got three uh, Donruss uh, Trey Youngs as well, so you know nothing too crazy there. So as you can see, I basically pulled all of the the Donruss rookie cards from Luca, Trey, Zion, and Ja. Uh, just because they're the hot cards right now and, you know, everybody's willing to invest in those and the prices keep going up daily. So that's kind of the reason why I'm, I'm looking at those cards. This card I'm taking a flyer on. This card is absolutely awesome looking in person. It's it's hard to give it justice when you only have it on, on a screen, but you can see the foil on it. Really cool looking card. This card it sells anywhere from 100 to $130 right now, just raw. I don't think I've seen a PSA graded card of this yet. Um, so I kind of wanted to give this a shot and this might have a really low population of LeBron. Um, so that would be a really cool card to get back um, graded and hopefully that grades well. Um, Cause I don't even know how to even look at this card for centering or, or any of that. I don't know if you look at like the distance between the H and the E and, and try to figure it out that way. Um, Cause it's kind of like a circular cut um, just, kind of hard to tell in general it looks pretty good but i don't know if pretty good is good enough so we'll we'll see i have high hopes for that card too uh, i assume any kind of lebron psa 10 is big money and then just because jason tatum's been going off I, i've put together the rookies that i have of him um the centering on the rookies this optic the rookies looks the best out of all of my card or the other optic cards so i figured i'll get this one um, you know, graded, hopefully that PSA 10s, it is an insert, so it is a little bit less than the base optic rated rookie. Um, centering is slightly off, I think a little bit to the left, top to bottom. I'm not entirely sure how you really tell on, on this card, to be honest with you. I don't, cause you know, you have like this indentation up here, like the little, um, 
like circle that cuts into the top. So I don't know if that's also supposed to be the same on the bottom as well. Maybe it is, um, but you can definitely tell it's off slightly. This one he may tell me not to do. Um, we'll, we'll definitely have to get his opinion on this. This, this may be a nine potentially, but um, I'd love to see that 10 if possible. And then finally, a Jason Tatum um, Prism rookie. The centering on this I thought looked pretty strong. Um, I'm trying to line up with the, the edges of the card. The little indents, maybe it's a little slightly left to right. But on, on the back, I thought it looked pretty good too. Again, you know, I'm, I'm willing to hear what his opinion is. But, but those are the cards that I'm putting together. It's, it's ironic. I am a basketball collector, and that's what I first and foremost wanted to be collecting. Because some of the first stuff I started ripping on the channel. Um, I really haven't sent much of football in. There's a few things that I've sent in, but really right now what I'm trying to focus in on and try to capitalize is on uh, basketball. Uh, I fully am aware that if I do send these in and do the 45-day submission for $11, which is one of the services that he offers, um, that's probably going to take probably 100 days or more, potentially, instead of just the 45 days. So um, it definitely will be a long time back. I hope that I would get this back before the national because if I decide to go, I'd really like to have some of these cards back for, for trade or for sale at the national. That would be awesome. Um, but, but that is a little bit of the gamble with PSA right now. And I'm also kind of hopeful that um, they kind of figure, and that's also why I'm not sending some of my other cards that I talked about. I kind of want to see how these cards come back and get graded before I, I send some more in. So then that way I can kind of learn and figure out any mistakes that I've made. Um, and hopefully also some of the new graders that they've gotten have been trained up well enough to, and, and seen enough cards now to be able to distinguish um, that might be able to work in your favor now because maybe they, they grade lenient. I, I doubt it. I think they'd probably grade a little bit harder is, is my guess in the beginning to, to really prove like, oh, this is a PSA 10 versus a PSA 9. Um, so I'm kind of hopeful that maybe with a little bit more experience and time, that'll that'll help out. And I'm also hopeful that PSA can kind of figure out the turnaround times to make them a little bit better. So then that way I can kind of see what, what the market is for, for some of these other cards and kind of where they're falling out between a PSA 9 and a 10. But anyways, guys, this is what I'm sending in. Wish me luck. I'm really excited for some of these. I think this will be a really cool card too if that PSA 10s. It's absolutely gorgeous in person. Uh, it is a parallel. It is the groove. It's not numbered, but I think it just looks really cool. Um, really excited for Jaw in general. This, this silver could be a really big card. I mean, I've got my fingers and toes crossed. I, I really hope he says it's worthwhile to give it a go. I'll be kind of disappointed if he says no. Um, part of me just wants to be able to give it a shot anyways, even if it nines. Um, I could crack it and maybe try a BGS submission, but i um, really excited for this card because if that card tens, that's a, that's a big card. Um, and then the other couple of cards just in this stack that I'm real excited for is uh, the Trey Young. Um, Pink Hyper and the LeBron James. I think this this is going to be a really cool card that probably not many people have have submitted. So I think that could be a really cool card with a low population. And then finally, everybody is now selling this card at a PSA 10. So I'm sure by the time I get it back, it, the market will be completely flooded and the price points have moved on all of these. So that's the other thing you got to remember too. I know this has been a long video for just kind of talking about what's going to PSA, but I think one of the things that um, you know I'm going to have to remember and also recommend as a piece of advice is unless you pay um, for the quicker, faster turnarounds, the card prices that you see now could be very different by the time that you actually get these back. Um, the card market could have moved completely. So uh, it could move in your favor and that it got even higher, or it could go the complete opposite direction in that it could have gone much, much lower because now the market is flooded with them or you missed the opportunity in which when they were hot. So luckily, or what I'm not, I'm calling luckily, I'm, I'm picking players that I think have a lot of popularity for a long period of time. And I'm not necessarily worried about getting the cards back immediately. I mean, it would be great to have them for trade bait or selling at the national, but at the same time, you know, I'm not necessarily worried about these because I, I, I'm looking at these as a long-term investment for a lot of them. And a lot of this is PC stuff too. So um, if, if multiples of these, you know, grade well, then maybe I'll sell off like the extra and at least keep one for myself. 
um, unless it's just too lucrative of a deal, but, but that's kind of what I got going on. I just wanna say thank you again so much for all of your support on the channel. I hope everybody who's submitting cards with clay cards or anybody in general is um, gonna have the best of luck and hopefully everybody gets a PSA 10 or BGS 9.5 or better because um, that would be really cool. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks so much again for all the support on the channel. I really appreciate it. We got a lot of fun things that are up and coming. Really looking forward to continuing to grow and get up to hopefully what is going to be 500 subscribers in the very near future. Thanks all, and until next time, keep ripping those packs.